everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're the Daunties. My name is Rochelle. I'm your favorite Daunt. I'm gonna give yourself one flash. <laughs> and today we're gonna be talking about our favorite books that we read in the month of July. What'd you read? What'd you read? What? So every month we like to talk about our top three favorite books we read in the previous month. Just because we read so much and there's two of us, there's no way we could ever really do a full wrap up video. <laughs> we read a lot. But if you ever want to know what we're reading, what we're liking, what we're disliking, you can follow us on Goodreads and both of our links are down below. So do you want to start this month or? Go All right, ahead. cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, first one I'm going to talk about is The Invited by Jennifer McMahon. Oh, okay. Uh, I really enjoyed it. So this couple, um, they... Both are like teachers. One may be a professor. The other one is like a teacher. And okay. they decide that they, they're they tired of the everyday. So they move out to the country. Okay. And they get a fixer-upper. And they as they're fixing it up, they both start having these weird things happening to them. He keeps seeing this... A deer in the woods that he can't get a picture of every time he sees it and gets a camera out it disappears and okay. she just starts really um, getting involved in the lore of the town and the land that they actually bought okay. and as she's researching that she starts going around and finding antiques and things like that to put in this house that they're building. Okay. She finds a mantelpiece above a fireplace that was in a house that used to be on that land that burned down or something. So she starts putting all of these things into the house and okay. come to find out there's reasons that this stuff is happening to them and these weird things are happening. And I really enjoyed it. It's a little spooky. So does it lean more towards horror or thriller? Because I know she writes both. This one, it's it didn't scare me that much, but there are spooky things that happen in it. So, okay. but okay. I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Okay, so kind of sticking to the maybe haunted house type of a theme. I'm gonna go with one of my favorite books I've read this year. And it's called We Used to Live Here by Marcus Cleaver. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. This book just came out and I was like, ooh, this sounds really interesting. So the premise is we're following this woman who her and her partner just bought this house to basically flip. And uh, her partner is gone. She's at work or something. So she's there at the house. And all of a sudden she gets a knock on the door from this man his wife and their three kids I think they have two boys and a girl and she's like can I help you you know we just like they they're, haven't even been there like two weeks if that so um, he was like yeah you know we were just driving by and I used to live here and I wanted can I come in and show my family around blah 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 and she's hesitant she tells him she has to call her partner and whatever and partner doesn't answer so she comes back and says no my partner said no I'm so sorry but just that small interaction, she kind of feels bad making, you know, turning them away. So she was like, you know what, just come on in, you know, 15 minutes, tops, whatever. They don't know that their time is up. They don't know how to leave. <laughs> um, and things start going crazy from there. Things start happening and we don't know as a reader, is it just her imagination or are actual things happening within this house with this family? And this book leaves you hanging with not really knowing what to believe, which side of the story to believe. And this is wild. Okay, first of all, yes. if you're living in this house and somebody, <laughs> I used to live here, I want to come in. Tell them, no. No. Mm -mm. That is the moral of the story. No. <laughs> no. And if you drive past some place that you used to live, don't go. Hey, I used to live here. I want to come in. Because you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, this was so unexpected. And I keep thinking about this book. It was so... 
was just so, it made you feel uneasy and just, I, I loved it. It was so, so good. Five stars. Guys, the eyes are the best part. Five stars. Five stars from me too. Five stars. Loved it. Ooh, so, I loved it. <laughs> this, it's crazy, okay? It's crazy. This girl basically starts obsessing about eyeballs because her mom always uh, eats like the eyes in the fish head and tells her the eyes are the best part. So their dad left, mom's depressed. So one day to try to make mom feel better, she says, fine, I'll eat the eyes. Just leave me alone. Well, she eats the eyes and figures out they ain't that bad and then starts obsessing about eyeballs and blue eyeballs of somebody in particular. And yeah. This is basically watching this girl turn into a serial killer. You're following a serial killer in the making and the ending of this book Whoa, it was so freaking good, so unexpected. I get squeamish <laughs> with eyeballs in particular, and I was able to handle it in immediate five stars. It was so good. Yeah, I liked it. Some things I'm not going to be able to eat for a while, but it was still Some was things still you good. didn't eat to begin with. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my second favorite book of the month is called The Love of My Afterlife by Christy Greenwood. I had to throw in a romance in here because the other two books on my list this month were horror. So I wanted something light and fluffy. Light and fluffy. <laughs> you know, fluffy. As fluffy as it can be with our main character dying <laughs> on the very first page. Oh, that's fluffy. In the most humiliating way possible. Um, it was so fun. So she basically, she dies and she goes to the afterlife. And while she's there in the waiting room, she has immediate chemistry and a connection with this other person in the waiting room. They did too. Yeah. Well, kind of, sort of. Oh, okay. Because he arrived prematurely, so they send him back to Earth, and she's like, oh my god, that was the love of my life. So she kind of makes a deal to go back to Earth to find him, and all she has is his first name. That's it. Um, but this was so fun, so unexpected, and I love the colors of this. Like, it really does encapsulate the vibes of this. It was funny. It made me laugh. It was just an all-around good time, despite our main character dying <laughs> at the very, very beginning of the story. <laughs> I loved it. I highly recommend. All right. So, Ooh. I was a teenage slasher. I gave this one four stars. Same. I enjoyed it. Um, it takes place in a small Texas town. Which, La Mesa. Hello, I, I'm in Texas. It Are also, you? I am. Whoa. It also takes place in the late 80s, which, mm, yeah. you know, uh, I was in high school in the late 80s, and this is about high school students in the late 80s. Mm -hmm. So, the nostalgia. Uh, I mean, the way that they talked about everything, the songs that were brought up, I was like, oh, dang, I remember that song. <laughs> you know, it was just, it really brought back, um, it was like watching a movie. Yeah. Reading this one was like watching a movie, and I enjoyed it. Um, basically, you're following a teenage slasher, and uh, it's... He, he's pretty crazy. Yeah, just a bit, but he's, it was it was really good. It was really I good. I really too. enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, don't be bullying people. No. Because you never know. Bad stuff can happen. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> my favorite book of the month is quite possibly jumping to my very favorite book I've read the entire year so far, and I have some really good contenders for best book of the year, but this one is a novella, and it's called Bloom, and it's by Delilah S. Dawson. This is a horror, it's not even 200 pages, I want to say. Oh, it's 202 pages. Oh, wow. This book, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I've heard a lot of people like it or love it. Not really people hating on it. And I've read this author before, which I really enjoyed a previous book of hers. So I was like, you know what? I really want to see what all the fuss is about. So this one is 
Half the book is romance. So you're following this woman who just got out of a relationship. I don't know if it was a divorce or just a really bad breakup after, you know, so, so many years with this man. One of them love books. <laughs> or so you think. <laughs> so she, at the beginning of the book, she's broken up with and she's trying to navigate life on her own, whatever. She goes to this farmer's market and is immediately entranced by this woman. And she's never had feelings for women like that. She doesn't go that way. So she was very confused and just didn't, didn't understand why she kept gravitating toward this woman. So they developed some sort of friendship and then it turns into a romance. But then things go off the rails from there. And this is one that I read this like July 3rd and I have thought about the ending of this book at least once a day since then <laughs> and just a couple of days ago I went back and I read the last two or three pages because it is so freaky and creepy and just oh my god jaw dropping that I can't stop thinking about this book and I will say if you have read Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca which is another short story or Misery you're gonna you might like this book it had it had the same feelings that i had while reading those other two books and then just you know a little bit of a romance tries to derail you from the horrific things that occur in this book and oh my god this is this this was so good i can't i literally cannot stop thinking about it and i need you to read it <laughs> i need you to read it so i can talk to somebody about it so good we'll see so here are our favorite books that we've read in the month of July. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you've read any of these or if you have your eyes <clears throat> eyes set on any of these books, if they sound good to you. Um, and what was your favorite book you read in July? Let us know because we might take those as recommendations for us. I've been on like this huge winning streak when it comes to reading. I really had a hard time picking my top three. Um, but yeah, it, <sighs> Oh, it feels good to read good books. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to do it for us today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.